Hey everyone, Joe from Ablenet here today with the brand new Ablenet Symbol Overlay Maker app for the iPad. Uh, this app is available for free on the Apple App Store. And today I'm going to show you how to make a printable picture symbol overlay with this app. Right away when you open up the app you're going to find that you have three options here. Uh, the first is create a new symbol overlay. The next is open an existing symbol overlay. And lastly, you're gonna have the ability to copy an existing symbol overlay to create a new one. So let's go ahead and start by creating our new overlay. Um, you're gonna see we have all of the AbleNet devices and their appropriate templates to create picture symbol overlays. And so I'm just gonna select the big red and we'll just give it a name here, call it big red. And then select start to get going. So from here, it's pretty straightforward. You're gonna click where the picture will go and you have three options. The first is you can pick from a symbol library, which we're gonna do here in a second. You can take a photo with the iPad camera or you can use an image that's been saved to the gallery. Um, so we'll just go ahead and do the symbol library. Now we do have over 7,000 symbols in here uh, that you have access to. So I'm gonna type in the word yes to see what comes up. And you can see we've got some different options here for the word yes, I'm gonna do the green smiley face. And I have the ability to put some text in here. So I'm just gonna type in yes. And now you can go in and manipulate the image. So if you click on it, this menu pops up and you're gonna select edit. And you can see I can make it bigger, I can make it smaller, I can move it around the cell, I can rotate it. So. I think that looks nice and I'm gonna hit save and you can see we've got our yes here. I'm just gonna do one over here for no and type this in here, no, and see what comes up. So we've got quite a few options here. This is a fuzzy logic search, so you are gonna get some stuff uh, that might not make sense. We'll uh, work on approving that over time here. Um, so I see the red frowny face. I'm gonna select that and put no in there for my text. I wanna make this a little bit smaller as well so it matches the other one and move it up to the top and I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna close that. So from here you have some options. You can delete your overlay. You can clone it to make another one uh, and leverage these symbols. Um, actually, this is the clone here and you can rename it. So the name up here that we have is Big Red. You can go in and preview it like this to see how it's gonna look when you print it. And then you have options to do things like airdrop it to somebody or send it via text message or email as a PDF. Um, or you can go in and print it. Um, this does require a printer with air print capabilities. So once you're done with that, you can, you click on home and it takes you back to that main screen. So now I can go and create another symbol overlay. I can go back and copy that one. Um, but I wanna show you how the files are organized. So I'm gonna go open an existing overlay. And what you're gonna find is your most recent ones are gonna be listed at the bottom here. And then for every device you have overlays, you're gonna see a folder. And you can go right into the folder and just click on it and it brings it up.